Hi guys, Battle Group Gamer here, coming at you with another broadside of naval action, and today we are playing Atlantic Fleet. Now, last episode I had some issues with my recording software, and for some reason it wasn't uh, giving me either uh, audio inputs. Yeah. I had no mic, and I had no game sound either. Um, I did fix that, obviously, but, yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, continuing with our Kriegsmarine campaign, and we are up against a heavy cruiser and a light cruiser. And just off the coast of Bermuda, right here. I don't know if I'm going to be within airstrike range of the Americas. If so, it would probably be um, he heavy bombers. Because that's all they had to uh, fill in the Atlantic Gap back in World War II. Anyways, we have them outnumbered, presumably outgunned. So let's go ahead and... Ooh, it's nighttime. I have no idea which way these guys are going. They might be going to the north. They might be going to the south. Although, the way this game is situated, I think they are heading north, because... Yeah. So... Turn broadside. And the wind is a tailwind. I'm gonna have to figure this out. And 11.4, is that? Hmm. I mean, I really don't have anything else to go on. So we will try that, and with our tailwind, um, not going to attempt any wind correction. <clears throat> A little bit short, but wind correction is pretty good. Wrong button. So we're going to target uh, this guy. And... Our destroyer, uh, every third turn, will be launching, uh, not launching, shooting star shells. 33.2. I don't think it's going to be that much. I'm going to try 30. That was actually pretty close. Target you. Tell me 13.5. I mean, I don't really have anything to go on that, but Star shells being the way they are, I'm going actually going to increase elevation a bit and also lead so that our ships are going to be illuminated for all three of those turns. You got nothing, man. Come on. <clears throat> so it seems the horrible visibility is going to give us the the edge against the British here. Hmm, yes, quite. Smashing! 
and smashing cruisers is what we are going to do. Hit marker. Yeah, not 12.1. Oh, wait. Yeah, maybe 12.1. 11.4 again would put us about right here. Just a little bit to the right. Good hits. Good hits. Huh. Still don't have the visibility on our other target. Definitely not 26.8. Let's try 31. Bracketed. Ha! Clicked it first time. Look at that. All right, star shells for everybody. And the York only has six eight-inch guns. Kind of light for a heavy cruiser. But our Fiji here, Fiji has 12 guns. And no real way to aim. I suppose if they had launched a, uh, or fired a star shell, then they would not be in this boat. Just taking some hard hits, buddy. Huh, even with the star shell, we can't make out the, uh, the contact. Is it foggy or something? Huh. Okay. No, I'm going to say about 29 degrees. Looks okay. Of course, at this kind of range, well, at this kind of range for a light cruiser, it's not going to do much. But our Z31 can obviously see the Fiji, so we're going to target 19.6. Too much. But I think this is the turn. Yep, there goes the star shell. You what? Oh, okay. Firing on the ship you can see. I suppose. Seven point seven would put me about right there. Let me try eleven even. 
No, 11.1. hits. That was five direct hits. York probably is having a very rough time. So I still need to come way down. Let me try 20... Oh yeah, 27 degrees. That We will definitely try 27. Hey, we hit him. All right, trying a star shell. 17.9, right in between them. Hopefully that illuminates both. Oh, are you smoking? Yeah, you're smoking. And... Ah, our Lutzau. Still on fire. Alright, so this is a 0 0.6 degree elevation decrease. Point 0.5? One, two, three, four, five. Ah, ah, ah. Get some. Oh, I should have gone point six. Damn. Ah, uh, need to hurry up and take out the uh, the York. We can get all three ships firing and hitting because the Fiji here, the Fiji is, well, it has received the least amount of damage and I'd like to change that. Some splashes. <clears throat> Still coming our way. Still not hitting anything. <clears throat> so I guess even with the fire raging, it's. or the Lutzau is not very visible. Point three? No, point four. Oh, sweet, sweet hits. Bye. Hey, we can see the Fiji now.
telling me 21.9, and... Yeah, why not? No. Yes. Okay, maybe not. I don't know, I don't think 13... Well, hmm, it might. But, I'm actually going to go 12.9. <clears throat> well, I guess I should have launched a star shell. Slightly further away than the York was. Yeah, 9.6 is not going to cut it. Not at all. I'm actually going to say about... Oh, I haven't moved yet. Yeah, about 11.2. A little bit of a wind correction. Let's see where these shots land. Oh my god, that would have been devastating. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to keep the same elevation. Slight wind adjustment. Bracketed. Hi there. Oh. I think he's able to see the loot cell now. It would appear so. But we can see him. Telling me 10.3? <clears throat> um, no, I, I do not think so. 11.2 was our last shot. I'm going to say about ten nine. <clears throat> and there goes a turret. Won't be too much longer now that we've got, you know, three ships focused on the Fiji. Maybe 20.3 will do it. But I'm going to go 25. 20.5. Hey! Some more good hits. And really, the Z31, not much of a need for much. Just going to keep star shelling him. You are going to be permanently illuminated. Wow. 
And this might be the turn where you do not survive. Why are you telling me 11.1? It's closer. It's closer. Why on earth? This was a 0.3 degree decrease. I'm going to go 0.3 again. Ah. Uh, should have been 0.4. Hmm. About a two degree decrease. 18.5? Let's do 18.6, cuz... No, 18.7. Cuz he's starting to turn... <clears throat> a little bit broadside. Either turning away, or... That was a lot of good hits. He's either turning away, or trying to get his rear guns to bear. Which... Probably... You know what? Yeah, torpedo. 283.5 Nice big old spread here. Cuz I have no idea where he's going to go next. And one more, I don't know, about right there? And then another one right there. All eight torpedoes going down range. Oh, we didn't even hit you that time. Oh, that's cute. Well, I'd say that that would have been decent spread, but, uh, yeah. I think the Fiji is going down this turn. Nine point eight. Wait, how is point three? Okay, sure, nine point eight. You know what? Ten. Ten was a good call. Let's try one degree. So seventeen point seven. Uh let's try seventeen point eight. Okie dokie. Boom. Thank you. Elevation of 8.8? .8? Sure. Actually, I'm gonna go a little bit higher than that. I'm glad I did. Oh, smoking now, huh? Yeah, you're smoking. Well, if we don't sink the Fiji this turn, 
definitely sinking when those torpedoes hit, because that... Damn, that was a good spread. Speaking of good spreads, I hope you guys have a fantastic Thanksgiving. There wasn't a single splash, that was all six 11-inch guns impacting the side of the Fiji. Oh dear. Well, this battle actually... How is the heavy cruiser lighter than the Fiji? Weird. But yeah, this battle didn't take nearly as long as it has been for the past few battles. I guess I'm starting to get my feel for elevation changes. But yeah. Completely one-sided. Only medium damage on the loot cell, and I, I can imagine most of that was due to fire damage. So, yeah, got that done. Three stars, just like all of our previous battles. And in the next episode, we are going up against another carrier. And once again, we are above the Arctic Circle, so we may have airstrikes available to us. It'll be challenging, because we're going to have to take out that carrier quick, fast, and in a hurry. Otherwise, we're going to get the shit torpedoed out of us. How much renown do I have? 48,000. Almost enough to get a Sharnhorst. I don't know why the H-39 class is twice the cost of the Bismarck class. I mean, the H-39 is pretty much the Bismarck with 16-inch guns instead of 15-inch. And I guess maybe a little bit more armor? Okay, a little bit more turret armor. Yeah, that's it. A little bit more turret armor. That's not much at all, is it? I probably will have to purchase a battleship sometime soon. It'll probably end up being Sharnhorst class. Although, at the end of next battle, if I still retain all three of my ships, I may pick up enough tonnage. Well... No, because I'm still 28,000 renown short, so I would have to end up sinking almost, no, more than 50,000 tons. And the illustrious, I don't think she weighs that much. She's not fat. Well, that's definitely something to think about for next time. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and stop the episode right here. Thank you very much for watching this battle. Uh, feel free to leave a comment. Feedback is always appreciated. 
like the video if you enjoyed what you saw, and subscribe if you'd like to see some more. Uh, once again, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode.